first at 5.30, a Better Call Harry investigation helping a Georgia State Patrol. Well, it shut down what it says was an illegal towing operation. It started when an Atlanta woman, well, she wrecked her car on the downtown connector. The victim says the towing company tried to charge her nearly eight thousand dollars for that tow. Better call Harry right now on the connector. And Harry, how did the towing company, how they explain that massive bill? Uh, you explain it by charging lots and lots of fees, Tracy. One of those fees was a dock fee spelled D-O-C-K. Uh, I guess they thought they were towing a boat. I don't know. The crash happened right here on the connector, right at 14th Street. At the time, these tow trucks just kind of showed up and the woman didn't know what else to do. Are you all right? Trooper Emilio Pedrosa is checking on one of three drivers who crashed on the downtown connector. In a few hours, one of the drivers will receive this towing company's invoice for $7,895, causing Erica Thomas's head to explode. Tow service was for $1,750. The dock fee is $995. Um, the cleanup, that's $2,500. Erica says the driver was nice. He even gave her a ride. He was really nice. Also, like, flirtatious, kind of. Hey, if you want to go ahead and start loading up that gear. Thomas says this is the guy that towed her. We blurred his face because we're not exactly sure who he is. But we know she didn't call him, and the trooper didn't call him. He points to his walkie-talkie on his chest, and he says, do you see this thing right here? This thing is um, monitored through all accidents. Um, we get calls, we monitor it, everyone is aware of it. He was listening to the scanner. Yeah. The police report shows the car was towed by Pro Auto Towing. That was very but Erica says the driver who towed her was with Jay's Towing LLC. Here's the Facebook page. Jay's Towing is registered to James Collins. Here's his mugshot from a Chatham County probation violation in 2007. We're looking for Mr. Collins, sir. We did not find Mr. Collins, but we found Pro Auto Towing and we found Erica's Kia. In this email, Georgia State Patrol's Motor Carrier Compliance Division says both owners have a business relationship but are operating illegally and issued a cease and desist. She showed me your request, $2,500 for cleanup. A couple hours later, we got an anonymous call that if we came back, there would be consequences. Georgia State Patrol says the only records that should be showing up at accident scenes are the ones victims call themselves or the ones on the state's approved towing list. When it's someone that just pulls up on a scene, you don't know anything about them. The trooper doesn't know anything about them. They just have a record. Here's Georgia State Patrol's approved list for Metro Atlanta. If you're in a wreck, law enforcement will be happy to call them for you. And as an approved wrecker, they are limited on how much they can charge. Certainly not $7,895. I just want to kind of give you a little disclaimer like that. Here's the thing. Trooper Pedrosa warned all three drivers. These are not state approved tow trucks. These are not guys recall. Erica was so shaken up, she didn't remember. I'm a good person. I just don't think this should have happened to me, to be honest. Last week, we went back to that tow yard. Erica's car was gone and the place was empty. Georgia State Patrol says if either company starts a new towing business without the proper licensing, they'll get a surprise bill and it won't be cheap. So we talked to Georgia State Patrol about this. Uh, Motor Carrier Compliance Division has checked six locations looking to see if they've started up a new company. They tried to start a new company. We found a business license online and turned that over to police. If they start up again, they're talking about a fine here up to $15,000 plus fees and, and possible criminal charges. She did not pay that bill, by the way. She turned it over to her insurance company, which is what they wanted them her to do to begin with, and they ended up totaling the car. You just mentioned it right there. You said the victim turned over the claim to her insurance company. I feel like that's what most people would do in the first place.